welcome back for another video my name is brenda first and foremost thank you so much for all of you who have subscribed even those who came when i was away i am grateful thank you thank you thank you i know there have been so many other topics that i wasn't able to make videos on that i would have wanted to make videos on for example i've seen so many gender wars going on on twitter to a point i'm like i i really don't think as humanity we should be debating on whether or not to protect our women you know so anyway um the topic for today um i mean it's something that really like it merges both my worlds together i like i like trending topics i like to just look at people's opinions and for this one i also have a major opinion on it because it's, it's right up my alley um naomi campbell's house tour it was posted on architectural digest and of course that's like the major architectural magazine i guess it's a magazine right and it has a website and has a youtube channel you can go and check it out i've linked the video down below um naomi campbell has a villa or house in malindi kenya and she did a house tour showing us you know her spaces her furniture her art um guys had a lot to say about her about her house because i know even myself i done a video before about how you know kenya appointed naomi as the international tourism ambassador i feel like guys had things to say about that and now guys are changing their minds saying yeah she really does step up for kenya and so yeah anyway first and foremost ahmad salim mentioned that naomi campbell has got people talking about kenya and that's like the biggest i the, like the biggest aim i guess of her being an ambassador for us because again we, we want someone who's out there who's able to draw in the crowds and actually have her house to her own actual digest i mean how many kenyan buildings have you seen being featured in such platforms not like we don't have such buildings or architecture in kenya but the clout kind of helps to i mean promote the country it really does and i think she's doing her job well on this one um i've seen another one big smitch saying that naomi campbell's new villa in malindi is literally all i want from life and so many others were saying the same about how they really they like the house um they like the spaces they like the feel of the house at the coast near the beach it's just where everyone would want to live in and so many others are talking about this saying how they they love the house they want to be there i mean it's oh, it is beautiful yeah um, Brian K says Naomi Campbell's house in Malindi looks like a resort. It really does. And I'll come back to this later on in the video. Um, Ebony says Naomi Campbell's house looks exactly like looks exactly what. This is the hardest part of reading people's tweets. Ebony says Naomi Campbell's house looks exactly like what I expect Naomi Campbell's house to look like. It does. It really does. It's like the aesthetic of what you'd expect Naomi to have in a foreign country. You know, the art, the furniture, the spaces are just not, um, what's the word? Um, not standard it's it's unique and it has a character it has a history a feel you know zoe said naomi campbell's villa in kenya is absolutely beautiful so nice to see actual kenyan furniture and art i'll come back to that comment um tracy darby says naomi campbell's home in kenya exudes so much tranquility i love it i love it too peace serenity all those nice words i feel like that house exudes all of that so speaking um posted saying after watching naomi campbell's video on ad i am actually glad she got the magical kenya ambassadorial slot a lot of guys were coming back around <laughs> the ones who had said no, no 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 we don't want naomi campbell they actually were saying okay this lady can actually represent our country and we can see the fruits of her appointment but you're forgetting that naomi says she visited kenya like in 1994 and she's had this villa for quite a while before even the, the post came i feel like people didn't really know much about her history in kenya and they felt like it's a foreigner from the uk who's been given this post but naomi is far from that clearly and daithi karaoke said naomi wanjiro campbell living her best life Wanjiro is a Kenyan name, Kikuyu. So guys have already named her 
Kenyan name. So of course there are many other guys who are bringing negativity to this topic actually. Guys like Rose Kamau who said Naomi Campbell is more Kenyan than Lupita Nyong'o simply because of the house tour. And here's the thing, how can you compare a fish to a bird? Like, Lupita, Lupita, her name also came up at the time when, when, when Naomi's house was trending, and it's because guys felt like Lupita was a better, better ambassador, <laughs> better candidate for the tourism ambassador post. And why should someone pitch like one celebrity against the other? Both of them are good enough in their own levels. I mean, it, it's it's so negative, you know. It's just negative, you know. It's a bit tacky. Um, Noni MG. Now oh, she's the one who brought the real story. Um, she says nothing about Naomi on Architectural Digest is true. She is representing. She is presenting several locations as her home. Um, I'll get to that. Noni continued to post. Look, La Malindina. I stayed there, and Naomi claims it's her home on ED. Um, okay. The photos are real, the location is the same. Uh, Noni says Noni says it's a resort and Naomi says it's her home. Give me a second, I'll give my opinion on that. Um, Noni continues to say, I literally even have the same lights Naomi is claiming is her home. In one of the examples, cause as a Malindi loving babes, I can tell several of the places she's lying about. Let me get through the, the responses to this allegation first before I give you my explanation. So Miss Mook was replying to Noni saying, figured as much when I saw this, not something you'd expect to see in someone's private home. Okay, it's a photo of, you know, a dining setup that has like, I don't know, close to under seats or something, something like that. Um, Wiz Kalibo also replied to this saying, yo, I had a feeling, I saw that crib, crib in, in quotes, and it didn't feel legit, like it didn't feel like a house, it didn't feel lived in. I'm, I'm seeing sanitize your hands stickers on the wall, the breakfast area giving me hotel vibes, but I didn't say anything because, you know, I'd be a hater. And most people, okay, guys now came back to ride on this post. Oh, Naomi's a liar. Oh, she's lying about her house. Oh my God, it's not her house. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. It's a whole mindset. I'll, I'll get to it. Ngugi also replied to Noni saying, lol, okay, sorry, laugh out loud. This is so funny. At first, I only looked at the pictures which show what feels like a home. Later, watching the video, the beachside tables made me think, is that a restaurant? Now that you mention it, I'm like, hmm. It's a hotel. I feel like Nomi's house or villa is like one of those humongous resorts where if she chooses to come and host her 50 guests, she would. She owns the property, okay? She even gave us like a, a house tour of the special space that she calls her bedroom where it has a lounge, a kitchenette, it has a balcony, like her own personal space. But you realize with most celebrities, they have like sprawling, humongous, houses that have like a lot of empty space just to host people to host parties or have different themes all around and so her saying that this is her home this is her home i mean i don't expect naomi to live in a thousand square foot house honestly and if this whole resort which has like different niches um it has different furniture arrangements for whichever amount of crowds that she needs i mean it's still her home and if she's out of the country and this space allows guests to come in and pay as you know per night or per, i don't know that's still her home i mean billionaire resorts are always they always look like that okay i i'm, I'm shocked that guys really thought that they would see a bungalow or a marionette of one building and she even said it herself that this is an open plan open roof open walls literally um which is definite of which is definitive of coastal architecture really and here's the thing um well i in my opinion i feel like it's a very beautiful house home 
home yeah that has like several spots for meeting for chilling for breakfast for dinner for a sundowner for dancing for hosting the governor hosting your boyfriend hosting you know you even just yourself different spaces yeah i expected her to also mention the artists the architects and your designers the furniture looked so intricate to a point where it has to be a specific artist who made it you know um or a specific interior designer who arranged some space somewhere i mean i feel like all that was missing and when you're representing an architectural gem we need to see the brains behind it <laughs> i mean basically i feel like most guys normally forget about us and without architects you know you wouldn't have this house to talk about i mean the title of the page is called architectural digest and so we expect to see um the the actual designers coming out to light and guys giving props and value to them because it's a lot of work and it's valuable work anyway um of course um i would want to also hear the inspiration behind the spaces this video was probably like nine minutes long and i understand she couldn't explain every single space but it would have been nice to see like um hear about the inspiration behind this why would have a swimming pool in this area why 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 should there be a balcony and you know um and, and why such furniture was chosen or if there was a need to put a piece of art on this wall and it's why you know yeah, like <laughs> i don't know that's just me maybe i would want to hear how much either the house costs or rather some spaces what was the budget for decorating it you know what was the budget for the furniture for the artwork i mean it's good to also place the value monetary value on the things in the house so that we can know we can know how much respect to give you <laughs> anyway but it's good to at least have a monetary value to it i mean ad had posted some houses also which have and they've posted the houses the price of the house so i would expect that maybe the villa also has a price a price tag to it and so it would be nice to know even just an estimate of course it's it's very personal it's a personal home slash villa slash resort but it's nice to know i'm not those guys who go to people's houses and ask for how much rent they pay or how much they've bought the house for but i mean you're a celebrity you're giving us a house tour it would be nice to just mention that you had a couple hundred thousand euros or something or million to spend on it i mean oh yeah and there was also this whole talk of kenyan architecture kenyan furniture kenyan art like kenyan architecture is so wide we have Maasai architecture, Luo architecture, Kikuyu Gothic. I mean, so many different types of architecture in Kenya that there's no such thing as Kenyan architecture. You know, it's it's so wide and so diverse. And so, I, and I also felt like looking at the house, it had a lot of Swahili influence, had a lot of Arabic influence, you know. Um, and, and you know, houses at the coast, the architecture, the art, the furniture was also influenced by the Portuguese fashion influence. And so I, there should have been like a more someone is sneezing there should have been a more specific touch or label thrown into the pieces that we were shown i know naomi knows about this and maybe there was not enough time to explain and again maybe because you know the general audience that watches the actual digest videos are not so keen on these details which is fine maybe guys like me are more interested or rather would like to request for a more intricate tour of the house to really appreciate the, the 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 beauty of the house the other thing about how guys were saying that this house is not her house it's a resort somewhere and she claims it's her house okay first and foremost she owns the property and number two normally celebrities houses are not your typical house says or layouts you know we they don't have I mean some of them don't even have like a dining room or a kitchen or a living room and a toilet i mean it's it's just something you know out out there you know you have money you can have a whole acre as your house and <laughs> naomi is the kind of person who when she's hosting when she's in kenya i mean she has the governor coming to have dinner with her she has the ministry of tourism all of them <laughs> you know the kenyan you know how kenyans like to show up um i'm, I'm sure she has like all her friends in Kenya coming to see her at the course I mean it's, she's hosting parties she's hosting 
so many people around and so of course the spaces justify why she'd have such a large space and her own personal space justified everything because now she has if she just wants some alone time in the resort by herself she has that okay um i find it very mundane for us to believe that the whole resort is at home you can have a villa and you're hosting different people or it's just empty now for the weekend for you and it's okay like that's how uh, millionaires and billionaires roll. I think you have to understand the mindset and the lifestyle for you to get why she has such a large piece of property and she calls it home. I like some of the things that she mentioned about how you should feel where you are and how I mean guys are complimenting how she used Kenyan art, Kenyan uh, furniture, Kenyan you know I mean it's all local where you're not in Malindi and you feel like you're in the UK. She also mentioned that, you know, what is it, about how wrinkles, um, the AC, sleeping with the AC on at night causes wrinkles. Uh, I didn't know that was true, but because Naomi said so, it has to be true. She mentioned the Bougainvillea. I don't know if it's Bougainville or Bougainvillea. So um, let me know what you think about the house itself. Of course, I, I, I kind of pulled back a bit without going in too deep on the actual specificity of her house because, again, it's her house, um, again, it's an acquired taste, so everyone has their own, um, you know, inclination to how they arrange their spaces, even how they design their spaces. Um, this is with reference to whoever designed that house. I feel like it's a very beautiful piece of art. I need to see more of it. I need to see more explanations of it. And I kind of like, I like how it's so Swahili. It is so Swahili. It's so Malindi. It's so Kenyan coast, Indian ocean. I love it. I love it. Yeah. All right, that's it for today. It's so good to be filming once again. I hope I'll not go for so long without posting a video make sure you let me know what you think in the comment section uh like this video share it with whoever you feel would like to hear these opinions um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in my next video bye